I think it's important to recognize that most of the students that are in the program are already professionals and have a lot of experience yes. and one of the great things about this program is it gives them a pathway to apply a lot of that um, experience and professionalism and some of the skill sets they have already have in a different way, in a way that's beneficial relative to the topics that we're presenting in these classrooms. And so it has certainly been progress on things like the applied projects, but um, it's more like a moving forward with some of the um, professional skill sets that they already had and being able to apply those in purposeful ways that matter to their churches. Expectations were that my skill level would, would I'd have an opportunity to, to try out new skills. And in the course of that, the, the greatest piece has been learning from all my colleagues. To be able to sit down with 18 peers across three states and to share ideas and receive feedback and hear good ideas from them and start implementing those in my ministry area. Uh, it created just this wonderful cohort and, and compass group with everybody. I was a little apprehensive to begin with um, because there aren't a lot of clergy uh, folks that I know from the Dakotas. Uh, so I wondered how that would be. Um, and it's turned out to be a great blessing and um, a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah. Every person in the room is really dedicated to the mission of the church, whether it's the students or the professors or the coaches uh, or people from Dakota Wesleyan University. All of them want to be able to build the local church so that we can make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. A couple of the projects helped push me to do things uh, at the church that I was putting off. Um, helped what my applied project I was focusing on uh, our staff and our volunteers and doing some interviews with them and to figure out what we're doing well, what we need to work on, and uh, I'm kind of proud of finding our failures and uh, being able to work on them and fix them. And so um, it, it was in some ways humbling to see the big holes in our system, but also uh, it's nice to start the year off going, okay, we need to do this particular training, and I know that because of what we've done. I think we have a, um, a wonderful representation of different churches and pastoral leadership in this program. Mm -hmm. um, our smallest church size, uh, represented by a pastor here, is seven, and our largest is upwards of 950 members. So all sizes um, of congregations, rural, urban, metropolitan, and so we have a, a very diverse group of pastors in this project who represent churches across both the Dakotas and Minnesotas.